The very popular Acorns investing app claims that it can help you turn pennies into millions of dollars. But is it truly the best financial platform for you? Well, today let's do a step-by-step -step tutorial to find out. All right, let's jump right into it. What is going on everyone? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. So I made a review on the Acorns platform a while back. So if you want some really in-depth information on this platform, then definitely check that out. But in today's video, I want to go through every single menu in the app to help you learn how to best use this platform. So be sure to check out the full review if you want some more info. But in general, Acorns made a name for themselves by offering a fantastic automated investing platform. And it really pioneered the concept of roundup savings or in this case, Roundup Investing, which we'll talk more about in a second. Now, since they were founded, they have added several portfolio options, including the standard investing account, Acorns Later, which is their retirement option, and Acorns Early, which is one of the best investing accounts for teenagers, as well as their new sustainable ESG portfolios. And this all sounds great, but there's a few things that you definitely need to keep in mind. So let's jump inside the app, take a look at the different menus, and help you decide if Acorns can really turn your pennies into millions of dollars. All right, so we're going to launch the Acorns app, and I do already have my account set up, but if you have not yet opened the Acorns platform and this is something that you want to use, then definitely check out the link in the description. However, I would recommend that you wait until the end of the video to make sure you understand the full picture of this platform and know what you're getting into before you open your account. But obviously, if you already have the Acorns platform, definitely open that up so you can follow along with me. So when you first launch the app, obviously, it's going to bring you to the home screen. And really, what we're going to be focusing on today is the four menu options options in the middle of the screen here, which is invest, later, bank, and early. Now, in my case, I have had this platform for a very long time, but I truthfully have not used it in a while. So you can see at the bottom of the screen here, it's actually asking me to link my bank account. So if you are just setting up this platform or maybe you want to link a new bank account, let's start off by showing you how to do that. So obviously, you're just going to click the link a bank account button at the bottom of the screen. And then from here, it's going to work in the exact same way as pretty much every other financial platform that you've looked at. So you're just going to search for your bank, input the information and sign in, and then you should be good to go. And there you go, it was just that easy. You can see that they use the Plaid system and we have now linked my SoFi account and are ready to get started with investing. So in this case, this is gonna be my primary checking account. So if we go back out to the main screen, the first thing I wanna show you is all the way in the top right-hand corner. And this is actually going to be your potential returns should you decide to use this investing platform. And once you set up your recurring investments or your roundup investments, which again, we'll talk about in a second, then in here, it's actually going to give you the hypothetical example of what your portfolio could be worth at a certain age. So right now, I don't have any investments set up. So it's saying that even by the age of 60, I'd only have about $53,000 in here, which I don't know about you, but that's not quite enough to retire on. So if you actually hit the recurring button and you swipe to the right, you can actually see that it's basically giving the hypothetical example of what this would be worth should I invest that amount. So you can scroll all the way over and let's say we wanted to invest $100 weekly, hypothetically. Well then based on investing $100 weekly, it's saying that by the age of 60, my portfolio would be worth about $780,000. But again, the point of this platform is really just to invest a few bucks per day. So you can scroll all the way down and let's say we just invested maybe $10 per day. Well, even then my portfolio would still be worth $126,000, which again is not a whole lot of money, but still a good way of seeing the hypothetical example and what your investment really can add up to over a long period of time. So definitely play around with the recurring investments to see what that could hypothetically be worth. But now let's click on the Roundup menu. And this is where you can set up your Roundup investing. And you may have heard me talk about Roundup saving before or Roundup investing in other videos. And basically, this just means that they're going to round up your purchases to the nearest whole dollar. And in this case, automatically invest that change for you. So with the way that we currently have it set up, it's going to round up to the nearest whole dollar. But you can also set this to the nearest 50 cents, 25 cents, 75, whatever you want to do and you can also set multipliers at the top of the screen which we'll get into a second but essentially with the way we have this set up right now to the nearest whole dollar if I went and spent three dollars and seventy cents on coffee then acorns would round up that purchase to four dollars and automatically invest that extra 30 cents in my acorns portfolio and that's really where the whole brand of acorns came from meaning that your little investments can really add up over time and while that was really unique when the acorns platform was first launched if I'm being completely 
honest, it really is nothing special anymore because a lot of platforms offer something like this. But there are a few things that I really love about this. The first one being the multiplier. So if we click the add a multiplier switch, you can actually 2x, 3x, or 10x those multipliers. So using our example from earlier, if I spent 370, they would round it up to $4. That means that they are investing an extra 30 cents. But with the 10x multiplier on, that means that they're actually going to invest $3 on my behalf. Now, a 10x multiplier is a little bit extreme, but I love the fact that they give that to you. But just keep in mind that if you bought something for $5 and one penny, well, they would round that up to $6, take that extra 99 cents, multiply it by 10 and invest that, which would be $9.90. So that is a little bit extreme, but just something to keep in mind. One other thing that I love about Acorns in particular is you don't have to use the Acorns debit card, which is nice if you don't have Acorns spend, but you can actually link third party cards like I just showed you or third party accounts, and then they will automatically round up purchases on those cards and invest that for you as well. So to do that, you would just click the one linked card button and you can see the account that we just linked earlier in the video, but obviously you can go through the exact same process that I just showed you and link those third party cards if you want those to round up your purchases and invest the difference. But going back to that previous menu, let's just say we want to set this to round up to the whole dollar and multiply by two, and then we have to click save at the bottom of the screen. And there we go. It's now going to round up all of those purchases to the nearest whole dollar, multiply by two, and invest that automatically for us. All right, but enough about all of that. Let's go back to the home screen and get started with investing. So we're just going to focus on the invest in your future option, but this process is exactly the same for Acorns later and Acorns early. So if we click on the invest for your future option, we've got three options at the top of the screen, which are roundups, one-time investments, and withdrawal funds. So the roundups menu is what we just talked about, and this is going to show you all of the roundups that have occurred and been invested in your Acorns account. So if you linked multiple cards and those were rounding up your purchases, then all of those transactions would show up right here. But if we go back out, the next menu is the one-time deposit. And this is where you can just transfer money from your third-party bank accounts into your Acorns accounts if you don't want to just be investing your roundup change. And if you're going to use the Acorns platform, I definitely recommend at least making some kind of deposit. So this is pretty self-explanatory, but obviously you're going to tell it where you want to pull this money from. So in this case, we're going to pull it from my SoFi money account. We're going to tell it how much. So let's say we want to invest $5,000. We're then going to click review, and then we just have to confirm all the information. So again, we're investing $5,000 one time, and we're pulling that from my SoFi money account. And now we're just going to click invest $5,000 at the bottom of the screen. And there we go. We are now moving $5,000 into our Acorns automated portfolio. Obviously, that's going to take a few days to come in here, but the next menu option is the withdrawal menu. And in this case, because I have this reset to basically a brand new portfolio, we don't have any money to withdraw. But again, this is pretty self-explanatory. This is where you would go ahead and withdraw money from your Acorns portfolio if you wanted to for whatever reason. All right, but going back out, the next menu option is perhaps the most important, and this is actually the portfolio menu where you are going to decide where Acorns is actually investing your money. Now, I'm hesitant to say that because you you don't actually get to specifically tell them where to invest your money, but that's not really the point with this platform. But what you are going to decide on is which portfolio you would like to invest your money in. So if we click on the portfolio button, we've got a ton of different options with the Acorns platform. And really it all has to do with how much risk you are willing to take on. So at the bottom of the screen here, we have the risk button and you can see that right now my portfolio is the moderately aggressive portfolio option. So if we scroll down to the bottom of this menu and we click on the risk button, you can see the five different portfolios that Acorns offers. So right now I am invested in the moderately aggressive portfolio, and that is the second to most risky portfolio, if that makes sense. But the least risky is all the way on the left, and that would be the conservative. Next is the moderately conservative. The center one is the moderate. The next one that I am currently invested in is the moderately aggressive. And of course, the last one would be the aggressive portfolio. And as you click on each of these options, it also shows you a breakdown of where that money is being invested. So the aggressive portfolio is is 0% bonds and 100% stocks, and the conservative portfolio is 100% bonds and 0% stocks. So if we go back to the moderately aggressive portfolio, you can see that this is an 80-20 blend, which is a pretty healthy breakdown for someone of my age, which still has a little bit of diversity in the sense that it is still 20% bonds, but 80% stocks, which is pretty high. But at the bottom of the screen, you can also see where specifically they are investing your money. So 47% of that is in large company stocks. And if we click on that and scroll down, you can actually see exactly where that money is being invested. So a few of the companies in here are Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, 
Microsoft, Google, Tesla, and a ton of others. So it is nice that they do actually show you exactly where that money is being invested. You can also see some detailed information on that particular asset class, including the year-to-date return, the opening price, and all of that good stuff. And you can also look at the graph on the one day, one week, one month, six months, and one year chart as well. But if we go back out, let's say we want to click on the US aggregate bonds. Well, again, you've got the same information year to date. This is down about 3%. And if we scroll down, you can see these specific places again, where that asset class is being invested in. So if we go back out to the previous menu, in this case, I'm going to stay with the moderately aggressive portfolio. But if you wanted to change this, you simply select your option at the top of the screen, and you would click the change to this portfolio, which is the green button at the bottom of the screen here. But again, going back out to the previous menu, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the screen, there's two more menus that I want to show you. The first one being the themes menu. And this is actually where the new ESG portfolios come into play. So in this case, we currently have the core portfolio, which is the feature that Acorns has had for a very long time, but they now have the new ESG portfolios, which is similar to the socially responsible portfolios that Wealthfront and other automated investing platforms offer. And basically, this is just a way to ensure that your investments align with your personal ethical and moral values. So you can see under the ESG portfolios that it says invest in ETF portfolios rated for how they approach environmental, social, and governance issues. And that's where the ESG comes from. So we'll stick with the core portfolio for now. But if we go back, the last menu is the investor profile. And this is simply where you're going to put in your basic financial information, including your current employment status, your annual income, and all of that good stuff. And of course, how risk adverse you feel you are. And that's going to help Acorn suggest a portfolio to you. But obviously, as we just looked at, you can pick whatever portfolio you want. And back out on the main investing screen here, the very last menu I want to show you is the recurring investments. And again, this is pretty self-explanatory. But if we click on that, let's say we wanted to invest $50. And we wanted to invest that once a week on Wednesday. So we'd click update, click turn on. And there we go. It is now automatically going to invest $50 for us every single Wednesday. Again, nothing too groundbreaking there, but a nice way to make sure that you are automatically investing if you want to be doing that. Scrolling down, you can get some more information on the ESG portfolios, view your recent activity, see the performance of your portfolio, which in this case, there's nothing because I have this account pretty much reset. And you can see some other info on your accounts and learn more about the Acorns offerings at the very bottom of the screen. So I know we just specifically focused on the investing menu, but if you go all the way back out to the home screen. Again, the Acorns Later and Acorns Early are going to work in a very similar way. And if you do want to take advantage of those accounts, then you would just click on that menu option and go ahead and set up that account. And in this case, you can see that they are verifying my accounts. But once you get all of that taken care of, it is really easy to get started with these particular portfolios. And again, they work in the exact same way as everything we just looked at. All in all, I do really like this app and it is really easy to learn, has a fantastic design and does allow you to automate your investments, which you all know I am a huge fan of. But like I said at the beginning of the video, there is a huge roadblock in all of this and that is the $3 monthly fee. Currently, they offer the personal account for $3 per month and a family account for $5 per month. But for the sake of simplicity, let's just look at the $3 per month option. So three bucks per month doesn't sound that bad, but if you multiply apply this out, that would be $36 per year. And considering this platform has built its name on investing your spare change, $36 per year as a percentage of the average user investment is a ridiculous management fee. All Acorns is doing is buying index funds and ETFs on your behalf. And if you were to do that, you would typically pay a fee well below 0.1%, depending on which fund you purchased. And some companies like Fidelity even offer completely free funds with no management fee. So even if you manage to scrape together $1,000 in roundup investing for the entire year, your equivalent managed fee at three bucks per month would be roughly 3.6%, which is horrible. For comparison's sake, you all know that I love Wealthfront, which is the best automated investing platform in my opinion, and they charge a 0.25% management fee. So in order to match that with the Acorns $3 per month charge, you'd have to have about $14,400 in your portfolio. And to add salt to the wound, Acorns used to just charge 0.25% on any investments above $5,000, but a few years ago, they got rid of that, and now that doesn't kick in until you have $1 million invested. 
invested. Now that could be a good thing if you fall between $14,000 and $1 million, but that's getting a little bit too confusing. So my point here is that unless you have thousands and thousands of dollars invested with Acorns, there really are much better, more affordable options out there. And the fact that they market this platform in a way that it will turn your spare change into a full-blown retirement portfolio is incredibly misleading in my opinion. Because yes, that can happen, but for the average person who might only be investing $1,000 per year, you're paying more than a 3% fee, which is just ludicrous. So this is just my opinion, but if you intend to use this platform as advertised and just round up your spare change, then there are much better options out there. And if you have thousands of dollars that you're investing in this platform, then you should probably be using something that is a little bit more robust anyways. So if you want to use the automated investing platform that I use for my own investing, then I will leave a link for Wealthfront down in the description below, where you can even get your first $5,000 of investments managed for completely free. So just something to consider. Obviously, at the end of the day, this is just my take on things. So I would love to know what you think of the Acorns platform down in the comment section below, and whether or not that $3 per month fee makes sense for the amount that you have invested. As always, if you did get value out of this content and you want to help support me, the easiest way to do that is actually by checking out some of my favorite financial tools down in the description below, including one offer from the Point Cashback Debit Card that will currently give you $100 when you open your account and make your first purchase. So definitely check that out using the link down below. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future. And of course, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it so much. Take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.